Being social is a, such a part of a child's growth, but we're facing new challenges in the age of social distancing. In today's Ones for Wellness, we have some ideas on how you can work around that. Life is different for kids and teens used to spending time with their friends, but now forced to keep at least a little distance. But those connections are so crucial. I mean, that's just the most important piece developmentally for um, their personality, their growth and understanding of traits and the world, and then also understanding of, of emotions, how to interact with others, how to communicate and how to figure out how they're feeling inside as well. Mary Catherine Miller is a child life specialist with Baylor Scott and White Health. She says technology is one way to keep kids social, but those in-person connections are still possible. Seeing neighbors across the street and waving or showing how you can communicate with friends by dropping something off for them on their front porch or doing something that they can then reciprocate. A few other ideas, write letters and draw pictures to be sent through the regular mail. Use sidewalk chalk to decorate friends' driveways or sidewalks and visit neighbors or friends, play games from the yard or driveway while keeping with the six feet rule. Also, Miller says not to forget, you are key in teaching your child how to socialize. Show them through example how to cope, and when it isn't perfect, that's okay. If you, know, if you get really short with one of your kids, you acknowledge later, hey, I felt really mad. This is what it felt like to me, and this is how I responded, and maybe this is how I could respond a better way next time. I have a few other words of advice. Inject a little fun into family time. Have game nights or maybe even theme play dates with your kids.